up everyone it's me adam prime and we are back for the final movie for the blazing toku movie thon godzilla thon edition Ooh. with me as always i'm stormy and we are here to talk about probably one of my personal favorite godzilla movies from 2002 we have godzilla against mecha godzilla we've done terror we've done Versus. The regular verses. <laughs> on, on the Twitter days, we did the the Mechagodzilla two movie. On the wow. original movie thought on Twitter, we did this movie. So this is technically a redo. Hooray! <laughs> well, yeah. Now it gets the lovely video format. Yeah. And uh, yeah, um, just to you know, open up is uh, we got plenty of stuff to talk about, including something we should have brought up in the GMK movie the godzilla mothra king Ghidorah, giant monsters all out attack right um that they started a hamtaro promotion i we could have totally brought him in um, i actually i have him right here yeah so didn't do it totally yeah hamtaro dressed as godzilla womp womp. so he's here now so he's yeah, adorable he was also part of the promotion in 2002 for this movie which i don't know i also forgot has... to bring on my little mothra for the one movie that she was in hey, so she's here now too this one though she cameos here and, and also, he's recovered nicely. <laughs> so, overall, there's a reason this is one of my favorites. This is actually, I think it's the shortest movie we watched all year. Yeah, it was only like, what, hour 20 minutes? Something, Something like, like that. that. Hour 24. It was really quick. This is... 23. The pacing in this movie really, like, keeps it's your attention. Boom, boom. It really feels like well, the joke we kept making the whole time was, like, anytime it started to, like, drag whatsoever, it's like, all right! You gonna move on. What was it? Oh, what was it that you go. said? No time like the present. Let's go. <laughs> oh, something like that. No time to explain. Giant robot. <laughs> and this is obviously the third version of Mecha Godzilla. This is my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. Um, this Godzilla is not my personal favorite. Like I said last episode, it's the Heisei one. But I really do like this Godzilla. I think it was very expressive. I think his face was really cool. Um, like the dorsal plates lighting up. Like, I think this is a good Godzilla, but I still have, I like, I think, the look more of the 90s Heisei Godzilla. Like, I'd, late Heisei. I definitely really like this Godzilla. He's probably one of my favorites, I'd say. Just something about his design, because of, like, that expressiveness, it's just, like, in some angles, he just looked really cute, which is something I realized I really miss about Godzilla. Like, I remember at one point... Uh, you said you really miss, like, Godzilla's, like, cheeks. Like, he used to have cheeks. And mm -hmm. I, I was just like, I totally get that, but there's something else I miss. I think I just miss him being cute. Like, it's like, like, but this is so expressive that, like, oh, he also looks super menacing in some shots, which is oh, awesome. Yeah. I love the colors they chose for him. I really like the, the eyes. eyes. It, I mean, the glowing eyes and burning Godzilla from last time was really, really cool. But, I mean, you can't really beat that. But <laughs> oh, yeah, I just, I really, every time. I just really liked this one. And I, I realized like some of the newer designs for Godzilla are just so just like, we like, oh, like three he's minutes badass in, and scary. And I'm just like, yeah, and they really are cool and badass and scary. But I kind of miss him being a little bit cute. Like he could also be really terrifying, but he's also a little bit cute. Also, we start this movie in 1999 with a Godzilla attack. Woo. And, Party like it's 99. And like, yeah, like we get him like three minutes in. This is a boom, boom, boom. Like we were saying earlier. So, like, we immediately get to see this attack. People are wasted. And this Godzilla is apparently the second Godzilla in this continuity. In this version of the continuity, which is still different from the last couple movies, because obviously this doesn't connect to Godzilla in, like, King Ghidorah and all that. Yeah. Because that was, like, a ghost, I think. The uh, spirits of war. Um, and this is obviously not it. And 1954 Godzilla did happen, though. It is part of, like, the Gojira main, is there. like, plot. And we pretty much have, like, our main heroine of the movie. Oh my gosh, what was yeah, her name? Was in this Godzilla attack, uh, Akane? Uh, Akane. Akane. Yeah. Something, yeah, that's what it was. Um, Something to and she's pretty much just has this survivor's guilt because she's the only one who survived this initial Godzilla attack. There, you... There's a lot of familiar notes to uh, Minus One, and this this obviously came first. And it's like, wow, it's really funny how we even talked about how funny it is that how connected 
some of these oh, are, to yeah, like yeah. all of our choices have somehow like really been connected. Godzilla's the villain again. Godzilla's the villain again. Ugh, lots of great movies this time around. Most of them. But <laughs> most of them. <laughs> most of them. And this This was very, very uh well paced. Again. It was also simple. Like, yeah. It's like you didn't really get much time or get in depth with stuff like they there was actually like a montage like a little bit in to pretty much just show Akane getting ready or just showing that she's still like is working to be a pilot and everything. But else. also gave her like time to like realistically heal her trauma. Yeah, yeah. So you pretty it's... much get like two or three years and it's like, then, like the, the movie takes place in 2003. Yeah, it's almost like it like it realizes, yeah, we know you fast forward through the people parts to get to the monsters kids. Here, we'll do it for again. <laughs> and we get this like professor also. I forget mm-hmm. what his name is. Oh my gosh, yeah, the like, one that he makes the trilobite in like he's just like, yeah, we make pretty much cyborgs with skeletons inside them. Oh yes, I thought you were going to talk about the guy that looks uh, funny, like, a younger version of the scientist in Minus One. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was one of the other ones. He was the guy who, I think, worked right next to him. Yeah, he looked just one. like a younger version of him, which we thought was funny. Also, the general is the prime minister from the, the last movie. Yeah. I don't remember the actor's name, but he was in the last movie, and he's now, get, he, like, starts off as, like, one position, then ends up as prime minister. I don't know if that's much of a plot point to really bring up, but he's here. He's there. Um, we he recognize him. He was, he was good like last time. I think he did a good job. Um, sorry if anyone hears any sirens. We've been trying to record this all day. People have lives. It's ridiculous. <laughs> God, you can't let me film my fil- fi- silly YouTube videos. But, um... It, How rude of them. I don't know. <laughs> we also get, like, one of, like, pretty much this, like, Cure You team, which is what they call the Mechagodzilla team. And um, on it is the actor who plays Gills. I want to say his name was Hayama or something like in this. He one. was the jerk. Either way, Gills. Um, G- he Gills. Was, <laughs> like, he was just being like, "My brother died because of you." Because war movie bullshit, generic shit. Like, I don't like you. Uh, and, like, you get this captain who has one of the sternest faces the whole time. Oh my god! But, yeah. Like, he really was like, "I'm trying to make teamwork on my team." And he's like, he said like such like like good heartwarming stuff but he's so serious his voice is just so deep and reverbery and he just looks like a scary man but like he's just saying like weirdly sweet things or just like i'm fostering a loving community in this team (laughs) or something along those lines it's so funny teamwork you can get out this was so it was so fun to watch whenever he was on there like are you doing okay yeah, exactly. if you need he me. Was, I think he was the only <laughs> other survivor of that initial Godzilla attack. It's just, just he's so just a scary man. Exactly. It's so funny. And he's just like, I want you on my team, Akane. You're the best of the best. I believe in you. <laughs> exactly. He was like so intense, but I loved him. <clears throat> um, and so like this scientist pretty much, like we said, makes robots. He made a trilobite, and they take literally the skeleton of the original Godzilla, build a, sh- put a robot, robot over shell it. over it, and. and Magic! This, this is I don't my know. favorite design of Mechagodzilla. It looks awesome. Like, oh I'm my not gosh, just yeah. talking about with the thruster pack and everything else, just like in oh, general, I love des- the head shape, the eyes The design are is beautiful. Di- the design is beautiful. This uh, movie, the cinematography was super, super good. It was oh, just yeah. visual- visually super pleasing. Super, the super music pleasing. music was awesome. Oh, absolutely. I, I loved that title music, heard too. The, the um, Godzilla theme. I don't think we actually we? heard like the dun, 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 but we de- dun, dun, but we dun. definitely got like almost a replacement version of it where it was like the burr, 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 burr. it almost felt like Bowser, burr, 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 burr. you know what I mean? Like Bowser, from, <laughs> like you know, like Bowser from Mario sixty four, like burr, 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 burr. oh yeah, yeah, like it kind of reminds oh, me God, of I, that. Oh god, I I that I forgot about that movie. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite movie, Mario 64. Oh, I thought you said Alien 64. I was just like, what is that? What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> I was just like, I didn't want to be rude and say you were wrong on camera. So I was just like, ah, oh, f- forgot about that one. That sp- spooky Alien Mario movie. <laughs> I'm a silly. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, no, it, it, like a lot of this goes really well. It's, it, it is decently paced well quick. It's just like, you're like... You're never like, wait, what's going on? It's just like, they're not going to be paying much of attention. They're not focusing on anything they're for just too like, long. They know when to move along. They're exactly. just like... Exactly. Like, does that mean we get any deep inter-character moments? We still do, though. A little bit, yeah. I feel like... Have, it, it, like, the main yeah. scientist's daughter, who has, like, this weird... I don't want to say fascination, but, like, constantly having this idea of, like, what is life and what is the cost of life and death and everything else. Do and, we like, want to say why, or... 
Like, is that too spoilery? I don't know. No, if you want to get into why, yeah. I don't know. I just, like, it really was just kind of like a... Honestly, it's something it was just like, minus one brought up. Yeah, I've just... It's because she had to deal with, like, looking at death in the face at such a young age. Like, uh-huh. because like, she lost her mom, like, as she was carrying their younger sibling, basically. And like neither during, made it. And neither made it. I think it was, like, birth complications or something. Which is, like, a realistic way that, like, yeah, and, like kids have, have like, had to go through that. People have had to go through well, that. It, so it's, it's like, like, oh, I was expecting, yeah, and then Godzilla stepped on my house or something. No, and it's, like, it was just very real. And this scientist... While he was a really goofy character and everything else, and, like, honestly kept trying to get into Akane's pants, um... He was... He was a little... He was weird. He was, weird <laughs> he was uh... It was a little bit... <laughs> he was, it was goofy. And, like... But, like, you do see him have the serious moment. Like, of its It's time. like he could still be serious, you know what yes, I mean? Yes, he's like He's like, I yes. obviously chose my wife over our child, but even though it was against what she wanted... No, it's like he said, oh... Like, oh, yeah, yeah. no, he he tried to basically go against that and said, like, oh, no, I, wa- I choose to save my wife's life. But she made the decision to continue to carry the child, despite there was a chance that she wouldn't make it. And they both ended up not making it, which was the tragedy of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 you're right. Um, and yeah, that's just, that brings the room down. Yeah, like this, <laughs> that's a bummer. Like, the little girl has, like, a plant, which Akane reflects on to herself. And, like, there's just this scene between the two of them where it's, like, she kind of says that her life and like Mecha Godzilla's life because it was the bones of original Godzilla. Because that's another she thing related that to like the little girl kind of brings upon it after like the first initial Godzilla attack of like, does Mecha Godzilla since it's kind of the bones and thinks it's a Godzilla have a life? And it's something they really do bring into question in the next movie, Tokyo SOS. Even though I don't think any of the characters come back, which was a little disappointing. Yeah. So, like, it did ask all these questions while not only really answering them, but kind of showing through character actions how it was solved. You know what I mean? It didn't need to have the characters turn to the camera and say, Oh, I learned a moral. I got the moral. It just kind of was just like, you see it. It's like, they did do that from time to time, like we said, with Gil's, like Gil's uh, actor's character. Like, when he just, like... Go like for his it. plane crashed. He's like, why did you save me? I've been talking shit this whole movie. And she's like, because we're a team. Yeah! yeah! And then she put her sunglasses on. <laughs> well, no, then she put her hat, hat on. Yeah, her cool hat. And, like, that was actually another really cool thing, because, like, she was kind of afraid to let herself in on this team, and then the whole team was just being like, no, we're behind you. This guy's an asshole. Like, we are a team. And everything else. Because you see them all go through all this training to pilot Kiryu, and she's the one who actually pilots the Mecha Godzilla. Everyone else is in their like the little ships and everything else. So, she's like remotely doing it, but guess what? So yeah, the first Godzilla attack. Um, we'll get to it later. <laughs> it goes awful. Yeah. Um, for when absolutely Godzilla, terrible. Like Godzilla barely shows up, and then immediately it roars and then leaves. Yeah, it was it like. I think it even, like, destroyed a few things, didn't it? Yeah, it destroyed a few. Well, it was attacking initially. Yeah. And, like... I, I meant Mechagodzilla. Didn't Mechagodzilla break something? Well, no. Like, it didn't yet. building. I don't remember. No, it didn't until it roared, and then you see the eyes turn red, and... Well, then after, the eyes turn red, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, you know. Because uh. we programmed that into our robot. How will we know it turned against us? Only evil robots have red eyes. Exactly. And it believed it was a Godzilla. So what happens when you arm a 1954 Godzilla? <laughs> he blows the shit out of buildings. You see this... him literally run through, walk through a building. Just walk his See, this is, this is what I was asking if he did. I yes. couldn't remember if that was actual Godzilla or him, so... Yeah, that was, that was Mecha Godzilla. And <laughs> they pretty much were like, what do we do? This thing is just, just like, oh, gee, what is it? Like, it just well, ran out of batteries. Out of it basically just had to run out of batteries, and then yeah, they went and, and got like, it. Oh. And they fixed the problem. <laughs> they were like, okay, we know what we need to do. We know how it re... Like, it was almost like a weirdly intense scene of, like, why did it happen? And they programmed it, and they immediately cor- like correlated it to when he roared, and they were immediately like, okay, we know how to fix the problem. We need to fix the problem. And, like, that's why in the final scene, they weren't initially going to... Um, send him out, um, send Kiryu out. They were like, we can't do 
do that and like the captain was like you gotta trust us we fixed the problem we can kill beat godzilla maybe not kill definitely beat and it's kind of where the prime minister is just like all right do it do it <laughs> like has his epic moment at the bottom of the stairs just being like thanks dude thanks sir and thanks sir dude <laughs> and you get this final battle which was amazing oh such a good fight like, some see, great fights in this movie first you see mecha godzilla floating and flying around floating on his like little propellers and everything and he just shoulder checks godzilla just straight up, oh my like, gosh yeah because it was about to like blow up a person that was helping evacuate the last kid out of a hospital or yeah, something the most movie thing you've ever seen of course <laughs> um, god yeah but that was that was really cool just how instant it was too just absolutely yeah, it's like, I think Bodies it's funny him. because, like, yeah, Godzilla and Mechagodzilla really just fought as if they were just people rather than giant monsters, which was kind of <laughs> yeah, cool. it was pretty funny. And, like, you constantly just see Akane just, like, almost on a joystick, just being, like, being, like, I'm beep, trying to beep, up, beep, up, beep, down, beep, down, beep. portal back circle, I'm gonna throw a Hadouken! I mean, if I yank this joystick harder, it'll go faster. <laughs> oh my god. Man, if I scream, it'll go faster. <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's yeah, the, it's yeah, such that's an anime thing. I love end. it. And pretty much, we all love it. <laughs> yeah. And in the middle of this fight, you see Mechagodzilla go down. Mm -hmm. Like they were like, oh no, we can't connect it via wirelessly. It went, ran out of power, I think. Right. Yeah, it was always oh, almost out of power. Oh yeah, because they. they oh yeah, because they shot the the ray. Mm -hmm. They and shot the radiation was interrupting the signal, the so cryo they had ray. to pilot it from the inside. Yeah, I think it, like, misfired somewhere else, too, and it, like, shattered a few buildings. Like, it froze mm -hmm. some buildings yeah, or something. Godzilla... I kept forgetting this thing fro this thing froze things, by yeah, the way. Yeah, like, absolute zero cannon. But it makes sense. Um, Which, Wait. by the way, I like how Godzilla was smart enough to be, like, tail yank. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, the... the atomic breath in. I can't remember. He knocked it over. He was just like, nope. Either way. Oh, I love the part where, uh, it's a little bit later, but when, <laughs> when, uh, Mega Godzilla grabbed him by the tail. Oh, yeah. And just, did the like, Mario 64 did the Mario 64 moment. moment. Yeah. That was totally. awesome. So long. So, so long, long Gabe Rosa. <laughs> yep. Yep. And that was, that was awesome. Oh, that, that was great. That was pretty awesome. Was... Like, I love this final fight. And, it, and, like, again, because of this movie is so quick, it, like, just ends. It gives you what you need to know. I'm about to say, yeah. yeah, you kind of see all the characters have their final moments because, them and Godzilla, like, you see them, like, in the final push, like, just grab Godzilla and are just like, we're going to the ocean, and fire oh, the uh, absolute zero cannon. To be fair, uh, oh, is it a before or after what you're talking about, where they had to black out all of Tokyo oh, to give it no, the energy? no, that was during, it was during, that's what, like, happened, yeah, so it's like, everything was completely in night, because they were like, we need to get Mecha Godzilla power, so we can be able to finish this. Which is really so cool to see. they blacked out all of Japan. Which um, looked awesome. And that's when they fly them into the ocean, and you just see, like, the absolute zero cannon go up, and, like, the explosion plume. And it just freezing as it goes yeah. up. And you see Godzilla running away. He's like, I'm done. Like, no. Nope. Like, with a huge thing in his chest. Like, a big old scar. And Mechagodzilla, sadly, is out of power. So you just see Akane just looking over as Godzilla gets away, unable to do anything. But feeling accomplished. Like, they actually Epic successfully shot. drove Godzilla away themselves. This is the turning point for humanity in a lot of... Again, this is the first time A Godzilla, lot of different movies. Like, Godzilla without... Like we got any, an upper hand over him well, without, on our own. Yeah, and without any real interference. Like, this Mecha Godzilla is purely made by them. Like, if somebody's like, Oh, actually, the government made the one in the Heisei series. Yes, but they also used future, future technology from King Ghidorah. So it doesn't count. Yes, I'm gonna, um, actually, some people. Don't call me out. Don't, yeah, let's say, try to call me out on Twitter. I'm not gonna pay attention to it. Definitely don't go in the comments and talk about how wrong he is. Definitely. But, yeah, no. So... Give us that interaction, BB. <laughs> but, yeah, no, this is, this was I'm a kidding. fun movie. Please be lovely. <laughs> Please be lovely. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, this had so many good scenes from its action... And everything else. I think the characters were really well handled. I'm not going to say they're the greatest. I will say that. Like, But, like, for a movie that has to get done in, like, an hour, 23 minutes, I think it holds itself really well together. Yeah, I feel like it very successfully knew when to speed things up, when to slow things down to make sure that we knew what was going on successfully, cared at least enough about the people to, like, 
identify them and know kind of what they're going through in the situation when and we were never bored we still got a good amount of Godzilla on the screen while still being imposing you know I feel like it was basically just like they had the things that they wanted to do and they made sure that they did it and they did it right yeah a great one, like I've, again to like. This could be. This is a this really could, a good starter for first comers. Yes, like, this is a, this is better than the other one. Honestly, I know like, that we. Had, you don't need anything. You just can literally just here's the movie. Do you know what Godzilla is? G- the giant pop culture icon that you probably at least have heard about. You know what Godzilla is? Cool. <laughs> That's all you and need. <laughs> there you fact, go. Fun fact that this is the first Godzilla movie I ever owned on DVD. Yeah, I. I oh gosh, what was it? Where did you? I found this at a Fred Meyer. That's what it was, yeah. Um, if those still exist, if you have them in your area. I didn't know those aren't everywhere. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. have different ones. And I, think, I guess that makes I sense. I think East Coast has, has a completely different Kroger store. Oh, okay. Interesting. But yeah, no. Um, and it's a movie I've seen so many times. But it's a movie I can keep coming back to. It's not one that's too long. I don't have to think about it. I'm just like, oh, yeah. This movie's great. Like I've watched I used to look at books at Fred Meyer. Sub, like dozens of times. Like this is one I'm constantly going back to. And honestly, it is one of the easier ones to just kind of give to anyone. It was so fun to just sit back and watch. It was really fun. Yeah. Like I'll definitely be watching this one again because it's you. How about to, yeah, we'll be watching it many times. Uh uh, another one I, I keep I need to watch Destroy again at some point that was a really fun movie too well okay wait we're gonna be watching a lot of these movies this movie. oh in this movie god some of just like the good cinematic pieces where it's like almost you want to take take a screenshot oh, you know for like a wallpaper the like the lightning like the part with like Mechagodzilla and the sunset mm-hmm. um oh, god there's just like a lot of very picturesque moments in here and I just always like appreciate moments like that just just a, a, giving the movie a chance to just look pretty, you know? Yeah. I always appreciate those moments. And I, and I definitely do agree with you. That shot with Godzilla, like, after he's, like, done doing his reign of destruction, like, mm-hmm. the sun coming up because the night is over. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's amazing. Good stuff, man. But yeah. Beautiful. So what did you guys think of What this about movie? you? What's your favorite mo- moment? That was, like, I was thinking about that. That's you... what I was talking about. Honestly, <laughs> the ending scene, like, the whole final battle is just so amazing. Like, it's one of my favorite, like, fights because it's again i like the tail swing it's it's both all levels of awesome and goofy at the same time yeah i think it was a good balance and that's definitely up there like again that destruction scene is just so good but that first godzilla scene is amazing i could say a lot of scenes this is again, you just like the whole movie, movie. It's my, just like it's, the whole movie it's one of my favorites but yeah Can't tell us what now. you think what's your favorite scene what's your favorite mecha godzilla tell us down in the comments and i think that's it I think we finished this movie. If you watched everything, box. thank you for going on this little journey with us. We're Hope not we have done fun. yet. We have the ending video next week. I know, but still, if you managed to make it this far, thank you. Yeah, and hopefully you'll join us for the wrap-up next week. We're going to probably talk about um, how we rank all these Godzilla movies against themselves, um, who, which movies we will recommend, which and what like how in our levels of recommendation, I guess. Um who knows? We'll we'll see you guys in the wrap up next week. We hope you see we'll see you there. And until until next week. Bye bye.